Uh, my, my lab mate, Melissa Munoz, uh, she did her doctorate work with uh, calcium sprays and different um, uh, pesticide sprays for pre preventing uh, botrytis on rose, I think Gerber daisy and something else. Um, and so what she found is that if you spray calcium onto the flower tissue, it can help reduce botrytis infection. And so we wanted to try that with uh, cannabis, right? Uh, the issue was that by the time you were spraying it, by the time you actually have these well-developed inflorescences and they're kind of in that time where betrays can start infecting and becoming a problem, it's too late to be applying calcium. You can't really get it into the flowers like you can with a rose. And you know the way you do it with a rose is that you just turn it upside down, you dunk it into a solution of uh, calcium. You can't do that with a cannabis plant, right? Um, and so the idea instead is that what we need to do is that you can't really spray late into flower. What you need to be doing is providing higher calcium and potentially silica right from the start of flowering or even beforehand and maintain very, very high concentrations of calcium and silica in the plant to potentially reduce botrytis. We don't have data for that or anything, but what we know for sure is that spraying either pesticides or calcium late into flowering does nothing.